On this episode, we're going to talk about the Cambit knife as an everyday carry tool. It's light, it's compact, it's easy to use. We got a lot of everyday uses for it. Sounds good. Let's get started. At the end of the last episode, we saw Ryan pull off a self-defense maneuver with the carambit. In this situation, the assailant is pushing you up against the rope, or against the wall, they're asking for uh, your wallet, they're, they're threatening your life, and you want to defend yourself. So in this scenario, I'm gonna walk my shoulder up, I'm gonna pin the knife to the wall, I'm gonna draw my carambit, elbow in the head, and there's my kidney punches. Let's move on. Okay, so uh, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the standard cardboard test. It was made in Italy, super high quality manufacturing. We're just gonna drag it right through, and as you can see, it cuts like butter. All right, so we're gonna cut some nylon rope. First we'll try it with a single strand, and then we'll double it up. No problem. All right, so we just cut a single strand, no problem. We'll try it with two. May or may not cut, but I mean, at least you'll see its limitations. And uh, yeah, cut it no problem. So here's some other things we cut with the 599 Fox Carambit. So as an everyday carry, it may not be the most versatile tool. Uh, you won't want to be cutting wood with it, for instance. Uh, but the most important thing is that is the ability to potentially save your life. So having a knife draw this quick and this fast, that can make all the difference. A very common thing to happen is somebody's going to grab you by the shirt, the old hockey, uh, grab the shirt and punch in the face technique, right? I want to draw my blade just right from the pocket here and I'm going to come up. First thing I want to do is I want to block his strike so I get, don't get knocked out by his punch. I'm going to come up through here. I'm going to cut right through the bicep and uh, the uh, all the nerve here. I'm going to pass through. Basically I'm just going to knock his shoulder and I'm going to come right through and you're pretty much disemboweling this person. I get the rear naked choke. So right here, Ryan will be using the one hand to defend the choke. And the other hand will deploy the weapon. And there he goes, and he start picking away at my legs. And actually, the way I'm gonna let him go. And he's turned the tables in this scenario. So here we have, I'm in the full mounted position. Ryan's in a bad spot. I start dropping my bombs in him. He covers up, right? I'm trying to get in. He draws a knife, and there we go. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay. The key thing about this blade is that you're able to deploy with one hand. So when you're in a very bad, precarious situation, as long as you can get the one hand free, boom, it's going to get you out of trouble. So I'm going to see how easily this thing is deployed in a vehicle. Say somebody stops you at a light or something, and you're at the stop sign, somebody smashes through your window, opens your door, whatever. You need to get your knife in a hurry, you got your seatbelt, you're wearing your jacket, you're sitting down. So not perfect ideal conditions, but we'll see how easy it is deployed. Oh. That's it. And uh, that's it. I 
pretty much got my blade right up in his uh, axilla there. I'm able to cut up arteries and nerves. This guy's arm is uh, it's having a bad day. As you can see, that was no problem whatsoever. Hey buddy, do you know where the gas station is? Make sure you stay tuned for episode three when we show you the combat applications for these knives. Make sure you check the link in the description below for where you can get one of these bad boys. And I'll see you next time. Uh, Ryan's using a trainer. Actually, uh, the trainer just ripped my shirt. Oh no. So uh, even the trainer, you know, you gotta be pretty careful with that, right? Oh. <laughs> but imagine what the real camera would be do. To, uh, to your arm, to the assailant's arm, or forearm, or body. Uh, yeah, those kind of slashes, right? Um, it would be devastating to anybody who tried to grab onto this man's firearm with that camera. <laughs> Holy... <laughs>